she should be lucky that I'm giving her a chance. And it's like, no, you're lucky that I'm giving you a chance, buddy, okay? Yes, sir. My motherfucking response, not your I hope that you love me like I love you because I think that we can make this last forever, but I'm scared to go too far with this. I need your love. Don't wanna Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany aka Rick Smiley, and today I'm gonna be doing my makeup as for always. Don't mind my background. My is mess. But um I'm gonna be doing a makeup video, but this time I'm gonna be introducing my new topics. Um, this time I'm gonna be talking about dating while being plus size because I'm plus size and uh, my dating life sucks. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't want anybody to go through what I've been going through lately. But I'm gonna be doing that while I do my makeup. So this isn't gonna be too crazy of me because my hair is already kind of like out there, um, and I already put on primer. The primer that I use, well it's not really a primer, but I use it as a primer. Um, it's the Neutrogena Hydro Bruce Gel. I've used it before on my channel. Um, my brows and my lashes are already on. I'm just going to be touching up my brows because I use a brow pencil. Um, I'm also going to be used, trying out some new products. But if I don't mention them, they'll be down in the description bar. These videos will have their own video coming up. I'm just waiting on some products to get here. I'm also thinking about doing a Shop Miss A haul. It's that $1 makeup brand. Um, let me know if you guys want to see videos on that. I don't know if they cater to people my color. Um, I've seen a couple YouTubers, but I haven't seen too many. Oh my god, I grabbed the- oh my god, I grabbed the wrong thing. This is not what I meant to grab. And I grabbed a medium brown. I grabbed a micro brow pen which wasn't my intent at all. But let's see. It's definitely not my color. Um, that's for sure. So I definitely wouldn't use this on its own, but it is helping me define my brows, that's for sure. Yeah, it wouldn't happen. It kind of dissolves into my skin. <laughs> but as you can see, there's kind of a difference between both these brows. So I'm not mad at it. If I had gotten this in my color, I would have been happier. <laughs> my skin has been acting up, so I have scars, yes, right now. So don't judge me. Um, I'm going through something. I do have a skin routine coming up because I just recently cleared up my skin like a bad bitch. Um, yeah. I'm going to start talking once I start doing my face makeup. I don't like talking really well. I do my I fucks with this. Okay. I've been wearing white Fenty a lot. I think I'm gonna go with my NARS today. And I grabbed a medium brown. I grabbed a micro brow pen, which wasn't my intent at all. But let's see. Okay. I fucks with this. Okay. I've been wearing white Fenty a lot. I think I'm gonna go with my NARS today. I'm not gonna go in super happy with it. So dating while plus size. Um, as you guys can see, I'm definitely, oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten so much darker. So this now doesn't look my color. <laughs> That's great for me, right? <laughs> like it's not terrible much, but it's not like perfect. But it does oxidize a little bit, so let's we'll see what happens in the But dating while plus size, I am obviously a plus size girl. <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. If you didn't know, now you do. Nigga. And it seems like guys, whenever they try to tell me or show me that they're interested in me, it seems like it always goes to this fetish. Like, oh, I've never talked to a plus size girl. I've never talked to a plus you're the first plus size girl I've ever talked to. Like, I don't know if there's something in guys' heads that make them think that that's a compliment. Because it's not. New slash. It's not. Um, so, I just get super irritated and super turned off by that really quickly. But then I'm like, so am I just not supposed to find love? I'm also going to be going in with the ColourPop 
no filter concealer because none of my concealers I really want to use for this. This is in the color Dark Deep 54. I don't know what world is supposed to be deep or dark or whatever. <laughs> whatever. But it just always either gets to this fetishized version of me or they over sexualize the whole relationship from jump and I'm just like I'm not here to be your pillow your curvy queen or none of that I'm here to be Britney and the fact that I am plus size should just add to that in my head that's what I think what should happen obviously that's not what happens at least in my life um, I don't know if anybody else is luckier than me that gets guys that actually respect them, but the guys that try to come in my DMs don't respect me, and I can see that. And so I have to shoo them away very quickly, or else I will be the one that gets hurt. It's never them that gets hurt. It's always me, without a doubt. Um, I'm just going to carve out my brows, because I didn't carve them out with um, a concealer. I used this. Um, well, I did use a concealer, but it was this. Just to give it a little more definition, you see how that immediately just lifts my face? Because you can, there's more light so that you can see the difference between my brows. But, they don't respect me. And then, when push comes to shove and everything is said and done, I'm usually the one that ends up hurt because I get attached very quickly. When a guy, in my head still, I'm like, oh, when a guy gives me the time of day, I have to allow him in. And I've got better at like saying, well, I know I'm better than you. And not in the way like I'm better than anyone, but you know, when there are certain people that come into your DMs and you can tell they are not up to par with who you are or up to standing with who you are as a person, given you can't always judge people, you could be very wrong. But like, everyone has a type, everyone has certain check marks that a guy has to, um, a, like a guy has to meet to get into their to that girl's world and I feel like sometimes when it comes to plus size girls people think we should settle because we, we should be lucky that anyone's coming in our DMs in the first place and I'm just like no <laughs> I would rather be alone than be with you and I hope you know that <laughs> like I'm perfectly okay with being alone yeah being lonely does suck at times but I'm not gonna compromise my self-worth anymore for a man if, and especially on the grounds that I'm plus size or that I'm dark a whole nother video about being dark skin and dating but like I'm a catch I'm amazing okay I'm I'm great I don't care okay I'm great I do have my flaws just like anybody else but at the end of the day like I'm a great catch and if you miss out on me you're missing out on a great person and that's your own fault I will not feel, I will no longer feel bad for turning away a guy or being rude to a guy that blatantly disrespects me. I'm not going to allow you to disrespect me just because I'm plus size. Like, it's not going to happen. I love myself and I care about myself way more than that. I've been putting on makeup because I've been sick and every time I put on makeup, my eyes will water. And I'm just finally getting to the point where my eyes are. So when I put on lashes, so I'm going to defeat the purpose of putting on fucking makeup because under my eyes look crazy. Alright, so I just went in and just blended everything out. I should have grabbed my contour color. I should have grabbed it. I'm scared to grab the one I'm fucking today. But I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to disrespect myself to have a man. I don't, I will be lonely before I disrespect myself again. And that's the thing, I'm saying this because I've come to the realization that I've allowed a lot of guys to disrespect me, and uh, that stops now. I'm not gonna, I've been talking about being more confident and how I've gained my confidence or whatever, and I realized that, yeah, you're right, I did gain a lot of confidence. Like, I was in a very bad place once upon a time, and I have definitely come out of that but it's still not where it needs to be and I can admit that I realized today that well I've always realized this but I've voiced it today that there are two people you cannot lie to you cannot lie to God you cannot lie to yourself and I need to stop lying to myself when I say oh you're the guys you're attracting are the perfect guys that are because they're not and I know they're not that's the 
I use this so it kind of helps me hold. If you're like, how is this bitch's edges not moving? <laughs> watch that. That watch the video I posted before this one. And you'll know what, what, what I discovered. <laughs> okay? And I'm too cute to allow niggas to disrespect me. Like, I, like I said, I'm a fucking catch. And I'm getting, like, a little upset about it because I've allowed too many goddamn niggas to disrespect me. Like, like, period. Like, I've let niggas disrespect me blatantly, disrespect me and who I am. And... That will happen no more. I'm not gonna watch out this for a second. Because they like to, they really do, guys really do like to think that she should be lucky that I'm giving her a chance. And it's like, no, you're lucky that I'm giving you a chance, buddy, okay? You're lucky that I'm giving you a chance because the, um, the what I can do for you in adding to your life, in being there for you, and and that I think that with any dark skin, no, no, I think that with any plus size person, the amount that she can add to your life, but you're not willing to take the chance because she's bigger, you're missing out. She's not missing out on anything. If anything, she dodged a bullet. <laughs> she dodged a fucking bullet with dealing with your crackhead ass. Like, nah, you not. Don't allow these men or these boys, because they're not men, men don't disrespect women, these boys to disrespect you, they aren't worth it, they are not, when I say they aren't worth it, I mean, I dead ass mean like they're not worth it, they are truly not worth it, because the right, the man that's supposed to be for you, is going to take care of you, and he's going to understand the treasure that he has, and if you read the Bible, he who finds a man, he who finds a wife finds like a treasure or something, I think that's what the verse says. Look at me trying to quote the Bible. But, like, yes, I also understand, like, the Bible promotes sort of a patriarch, and I'm not, you know, men should be allowed to do what they want to do. But, like, he who finds a, a wife is lucky, is fortunate. It's not he who finds a man. It's he who finds a wife, like. You will be fortunate to get with a big girl like me. You are lucky that I responded to your DM, okay? Not the other way around. Don't get it twisted, baby. Because I will hurt your feelings. And these niggas think that big girls won't hurt their feelings. I will hurt your feelings, okay? I'm very confident in myself. Say what you got to say. I probably already heard it. I probably already said it to myself 10 times. Where You can't say anything to me that I haven't probably said to myself. And if you come up with something new, I'm going to tell you you came up with that new. I never heard that before and I'm probably going to go in my room and cry. But... When it comes down like straight to it, you, they are lucky to get with us, big girls. They are lucky that we want to entertain them and never let a man think it's the other way around. And I'm not saying this to have girls walking around like their shit don't say, and your sister ain't, you know, your sister ain't. I'm sorry to tell you, your sister ain't. But never let a man bring you down. Never let what he has to say about your size bring you down because he ain't he he probably ain't all that. Okay? And even if he was all that, fuck him. At the end of the day, you popping, you feel as fuck, man. Right. You don't let these men try to clown you or dog you out. No. Back up. Back up before I hurt your feelings. I would hurt your feelings. And I'm just, I, right now I'm actually taking a hiatus from talking to people. Because I just feel like I'm just continuously getting disrespected. And I'm tired of being disrespected. Because I don't deserve it. I'm too good of a person. And if you've been being disrespected lately, if you can sit down and talk to yourself and realize that you've been being disrespected lately, take that time out and just be by yourself. Just work on who you are as a person rather than who you can be with somebody else. Because you can't be anything for them if you're not at one with yourself. Okay. This is a very, very simple look. So I just wanted to look that I could still talk to you guys with while I was like not worried about. Oh my god, I'm getting shit everywhere. Of dating experiences been like I just personally feel like mine have been terrible, trash. Um I don't have too many good memories. Of being in a relationship, I have actually never truly been in a real relationship, from what I can say. 
and I'm 21 years old. And that's not a bad thing. I know a plenty of people just like me. And I just personally think that God is just saying it's not my time right now. And I just have to become okay with that. I'm not at the point where I'm completely okay with that. I still look at myself sometimes. I'm like, is there something wrong with you? Is it you? And what I've come to the realization is that it's not me. I mean, I am changing things about myself. I'm not saying that I'm not changing. Just adding my dots. But don't let these, don't let these boys disrespect you. Don't take a break. Take that break that you need. And like I was saying, like sometimes I do feel like it's myself, and I'm constantly ever changing. But then I realize it's not me. Like, I'm giving you my best effort. Yes, I do have mistakes. But I tend to make my mistakes well known. And sometimes people just aren't your cup of tea. And that's just it. Like, it's not really that there's anything wrong with you. It's just they, you aren't for them. And that's fine. I just, so like, yeah, I'm saying, don't let these guys just suspect, like, if someone isn't right for you, let it be known and move on. Don't stay. You feel like you're undeserving of anyone else because of your size. My size, I used to think that my size would determine what hinder me from getting guys. My size has never stopped me from getting laid. My size has never stopped me from getting a date. My self-confidence has stopped me from getting a date. My insecurities have stopped me from getting a date or a boyfriend. But my size has never been a determining factor when it comes to guys who are truly interested in me. Like, when you meet me, you know I'm a big person. You know I'm a big girl. So, to say, like, oh, it was your size, then you should have never fucking approached me. You should have left me where I was, and I would have been perfectly fine. You would have been fine. You should have left me, okay? You knew that underneath those clothes was a belly was rolls, was stretch marks, was jiggly thighs, was all that stuff. So you knew, you chose to mess with me, to bother me, and now you're stuck. And now my feelings are hurt because I feel like there's something wrong with me. Don't come in my bubble if you're not ready for me. Don't ruin what I got going on if you're not truly ready for me. And don't get into anything if you're not truly ready for it. Because I've seen a lot of big girls get into a relationship because they, and I'm one of them. Like I've started talking to guys purely because I thought I'm lucky that they would like me. Because of my size. Not baby. This is who I am. This is what I'm gonna be until I personally do something about it or I die. Because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm always gonna be a big girl. I was born this way. I don't plan on changing. I've thought about losing weight, but then I'm like, I kind of like being big. Not like unhealthy big, but I like personally am okay with my size. Like, I'm okay with being a plus size girl. I have no problems, no qualms, no, nothing against being a plus size girl. And the man that I end up with in the future is going to have to be okay with being with a plus size girl. If he's not, then he's not the man for me. And then we move on. I'm not worried about it. You either you like me or you don't. You either fuck with me or you don't. I can't change anything about who I am as a person just for anybody and I'm not going to can't take me as I am then leave you can't take the fact that I'm a big girl then leave I will not sacrifice who I am to try and please you because at the end of the day who does that make happy not me it makes somebody foreign to me happy but it crucifies me it makes me feel uncomfortable it makes me feel like I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I will never be enough, but I am enough, and I will always be enough. And the right person will understand that, and the right person will understand that for you. He will understand that you are enough, you are a catch, and that he's blessed to have someone like you in his corner. And if you don't find that where you are, then just wait, hold on, you know? 
I pray that you're not your life isn't over tomorrow, like your time isn't out tomorrow, so that you have the time to find love and affection. But even if, like, live for you, live for what makes you happy, for what makes you smile. A guy, you shouldn't rely on a guy. That's one thing, like, this is past being plus size or anything. What I've come to realize is that I don't need a man, I want a man. I don't need a man to take care of me. I want him to, excuse me, I want a man to be there for me when I'm not at 100%. But my goal is to always be at 100%. But whenever I'm lacking, he can add to that. And I for him. If there's ever a time where I'm out of work for a long period of time, I know I can rely on him if I need to. And he can rely on me if he needs to. But I don't need a guy to pay my bills. I don't need a guy to make me feel beautiful. I don't need a guy to validate my worth because I do that on my own. I pay my own bills. I know I'm beautiful, I think I'm beautiful, and I validate my own worth. My character, what I do in life, validates my worth, not a man, and that will never be the case. So I will never need a man, and you will never need a man. No girl will ever need a man, but she can want a man, and that's what she, and that's how she's supposed to feel. She's supposed to want him in her life. They're supposed to want each other. They're supposed to always want each other. But I will never get, to, I never want to get to the point where I am desperately in need of a man. Because I can always take care of myself. If I want to bust a nut, I can bust a nut myself, okay? And I can probably do it better than he can. Like, I never want to ever need a man. And I don't want that for anybody that subscribes to my channel. I want us to never need a man. But to know that he can add to us. And we can add to him if so need be. If we both add 100, if we both add 100, who's going to tell us different? Okay, but if I'm at 90... He can add that 10. Or if I'm really low, I'm at 40%. He can add that 60% and just lift me up and help me get back to where I need to be. But it will never be that he is my constant ever living crutch. I don't know. I stand on my own and I stand for myself. My mom birthed me. She took care of me. She raised me the best way she could. Now the only person I lean on is God. So... If you don't believe in him, whatever the case may be, then you find some whatever you believe in, whatever you lean to. But I never want to lean on somebody 100% completely, always, constantly on this earth. Unless he is God Almighty. That's, that's. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was just a very light beat. I'm about to just take some pictures, so I want to do my makeup a little bit. This is a super light beat. It was super easy to do. I definitely like playing with some of the new makeup I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this conversation. I hope you guys enjoy more of these videos where I'm talking to you guys while I'm doing my makeup. Rather than giving you the same multi-tutorial that is constantly all over YouTube. Um, I'm definitely trying to separate myself from other people. Um, and stand out on my own as a content creator. This is something I do plan on taking seriously because I can't see the impact that I can have on other people. So I'm going to stop talking and stop rambling. My name is Brittany, aka Brit Smiley. Stay beautiful. Love yourself. Know you are worth it. Know you are enough. Know that at the end of the day, you matter, okay? Your happiness matters. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Join the family. I'm planning on changing my whole content around to give more positive affirmations on this channel. So if you're looking for a place where you can go to where you will know that you are feel loved and accepted, you have found the perfect home for you. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. My name is Brittany, aka Riz Riley, and stay beautiful, my loves.